Hey guys, I'm just out here at the, my farm bait. I just set this trail up the last time I was in here because you know, there wasn't really much sign of uh, anything going on in here, but uh, we managed to get one. Oh, I see he's got his head down. I couldn't figure what was going on there. So, this is a pretty hefty coyote. Seems to be pretty nicely furred. Yeah, I just was not seeing much uh, sign of it being around. Of course, it stormed yesterday and uh, blew like crazy. So any sign in here would be absolutely fresh. It snowed on into the night a little bit. So well, that's good. But, uh, nice day today, though. It's uh, I think it's only minus six or eight, something like that. But Sun shining, and we got a got a dog. What the heck is it? It's a December 9th, I think. 9th. So, but yeah, things have been really slow. I already set this one, I guess, maybe down there. Looks like that's where they're coming through back on that bigger tree. I'll anchor it, I guess. Anyways, let's get this done. Well, just down ways from that other one. This is another snare I just set the other day that uh, we hadn't been down these trails. I'm trying to think, oh, we had it right there, I guess. That's another coyote here. Oh, well, that's good. Getting some fur finally here, and the birds aren't getting at them. The snow sure helps a lot. <laughs> That looks like a young dog. So that's good. I see just a bluff of trees out here, corners of the field. And so every year it's produced for me. So I believe that's where my ram was sitting right there. So I had to go right back there again. This guy kind of moved out of the spot. So should should work. All right. I got one more ram over that way, and then. That's it for out here. So, okay, let's get rolling. Hey guys, there's a pretty sight. I uh, had walked in and checked my bait and I hauled a fresh deer in there just the other day and I got here today, there's no ravens. It hadn't been touched. I was kind of concerned, but we have picked up a coyote. He's one of the brownish ones, unfortunately, but coyote and uh, the birds didn't get it so that's a pretty hefty coyote too actually it's thick this little trail here I'll have to set back up in on that so I'm just kind of rushing I was out uh, pulling some trail camera cards off my deer baits so I want to see you know what's going on after the season but I'm driving by these anyhow. I thought I'd check. Tomorrow's my check day. I thought I'd check a day early. And uh, maybe that's good because the birds didn't get them. So, all right, I need this remade. And I got a few more snares, I think, to check in here. And then I'm um, out. Oh. Hey guys, I'm out at the farm here. I just uh, drove through a blizzard. It stopped snowing now. It's okay, but. I was having to walk ahead of my truck to uh, find uh, or stay on the road. Several times I was running right along the edge of the ditch. I guess I tend to drift to the, the right when I'm driving. But anyhow, I made it here and uh, it's my first snare. And we picked one off. I don't know. It seems like the shoulders there. So yeah, it's just a lot of powder, fluffy snow came in here today. So I'll get these guys going on the trails. Although I don't really have a trail here anymore. Kind of there, I guess, along that way. 
camera actually shows it better than it does in real light. So they're cutting through there. So anyways, I'll get this guy out of here. And I think I'll just leave him on the edge of the bush and uh, come grab him with the sled. Rather than drag him all the way through. I'm just starting into the bush, so. All right. Let's get going in this winter wonderland here. That away. Hey guys, just doing a check in the south and a rebaiting. And I walked through here. I had one chewed out or twisted out or whatever uh, right beside where I had had one pop my uh, breakaway device last time I was through. And I was thinking, well, that was it. I had two snares left to check and I didn't get skunked. I caught one in this one before, but look at the birds I've been at. They sacked them. Sacked his butt, anyhow. And that's like the one I had before. Yeah, I can save that if, as long as there's no hair else bad on them. And this is right beside my cut up by the butthole, so as long as everything else is fine, I can deal with it. Just wanting to harvest the glands and uh, it's not going to work out if they keep picking the butthole out. So, all right, well, I'll get this dealt with. It's not the greatest looking, but that could be the fact that the birds were hopping all over them, so. Hey guys, I'm out here at the farm doing a check. A day earlier, but I wanted to come out. I left all my rams out here and unfortunately, I got a red fox here. I don't like get these little fellas here, but the kites have been around in here a bit. You see where this guy came in from over that way, and bam, right into my snare. It's not even that bright of a color, but you see, we got a bunch of snow there the other day, and fog, and stuff so i thought it's supposed to snow again tonight and i wanted to get out here and just see if i could see you know what the coyotes were doing and it's just a small bluff here on the corner of the property but i got some more snares down there this is only the second snare so hopefully i got a coyote to compliment this fox Alrighty, i'm gonna get her done here well guys last time i was through i was I didn't count my snares, and uh, I think I missed this, so just the amount of snow was on it. Another red fox here. So yeah, I'm giving them hell. I don't want to, but that's what's happening. I get them back to the, the quad I got out here today. I will, uh, I'll show them to you. But. All right, uh, I see them are still here, and I've lost count. But these are the ones I was getting confused about. So there's another snare over there, and that's why I walked past this one and missed it because it's just right beside it. So okay, I'm gonna get this cleaned up. Well, oh, guys, I just threw that down there. It's my only thing on top. I thought it was down in here, but there's a little coyote here. A young one. So I just caught one just right over in there. It's where my last snare is, the second last snare. So uh, this setup connected. I'm trying to think where the heck I was, what trail I was trapping on here. Everything's changed. I don't even know where the heck he came in. I'll have to check the tracks around here and see what he did. But it's a good catch right around the head there. there and I don't, yeah, seems to be okay. I'm going to have to do some investigating to see which way he came, so. 
my anchor is right on the tree here, so there's a half-ass trail going through there. That must be what it was. So I'll I'll check that out and I'll know for certain here. But that's probably it today. I just, I'm surprised. So could have done with the coyotes rather than foxes. You know, they add a little color to the fur room, but uh, not worth nothing. So. Alrighty, I'm going to get this straightened out here and figured out and uh, mosey on. Oh, well, there they are, guys. It's not a very nice coyote. But he will get skinned and stretched regardless. You see I got my quad out here today. I didn't want to bring my sled out to the farm all the time. And I keep my quad out here, but I had to chew my way across a good part of the field over to the farm over there. A rough on the old machine but I guess I make a trail and keep using it if it uh, doesn't keep on snowing it's just starting now so we're supposed to get another three or four centimeters tonight so you know I'll blow it in and blow that trail in pretty quick so but and I might set something over in there eventually but we'll see this farm can only hold so many canines here. Like every year, it, I get fox and coyote out of here. But so okay, I'm gonna get this uh, loaded up and get going. Got my helper here pulling out a coyote. I didn't video it while well, I took it out. I was just I was mad because the ravens poked a big hole inside. So I don't know if I'm gonna try and save that one or not, but. He's going, he's determined. He's running out of steam. Hey guys, so at the farm here, doing a check. I'm actually coming up just on my last snare here. And I'm looking to me like the bird's got this one. He's got a hole in his butt for sure. Oh, he's been picked over. And birds. I just can't win. Oh, hit him up with the neck. I don't know if they're down there. Oh, oh he's sketchy looking, this guy. Rose like a rock. I don't know. I had to throw one away the other day. Getting a little disgusted with, with these damn birds. But, and then the last one I got out here, he was, I don't know, I almost threw him out. He had a bad, he had a bad, uh, something going with his skin. This guy, I'm not so sure if his bed is there or not. I guess I'll have to throw him out and uh, see what they did to him. So anyways, I should uh, be moving some snares around here, but I need to, uh, Get over and get some bait picked up here this afternoon so all right i'm gonna get this uh, cleaned up here and reset and carry on all right guys let's cut it out of here and i'll show you right now horrible belly huh like a mangy belly, almost. And then you flip him over, and he's got no shoulder, shoulder mites too. So he's a one for the garbage pile. Only the good thing on him is the uh, yes, look, I can salvage off the snare, and that's about it. So that's unfortunate, but anyway, it's not that bad of a day. There's no wind to speak of. It's a minus 21 or something like that, so a little nippy in the hands when you're handling steel, but not bad. All right, well, get this guy hauled over and we'll throw him in the junk pile. Go get some more bait, I guess. Hey guys, just gonna do a quick check. I went through all my coyotes, said nothing. This is my last trap of the day. And we picked up the first fisher of the year. I saw the tracks crossing the road here. 
couple weeks back and then back by my deer blind there was a bunch oh this is a pale one pale colored one quite dark out so it's uh, yeah it's a little bit pale the camera's showing a lot better than what it looks to me so anyhow i'll have to grab another trap to throw in the box here and uh See if we can't pick up another one. So, all right, like I said, it's uh, what heck's it, January 17th? It's minus 24 right now, but it's not blowing at all and it doesn't feel that bad. So, but anyway, enough looking at me, but let's head over the truck and grab another trap. Hey guys, I just set some rams in here last night. Uh, it's the bait I had been working on. And we picked up one here. I came in early this morning because I'm fairly close into the ravens here. So I'm a little nervous about, you know, disaster happening. So it'll be a nice fresh dog and it looks pretty good shape. Uh, right around the neck there, good. Out right here, female. Shoulders all there. So yeah, nice coyote. So yeah, it's a uh, minus 20. I think it's uh, December 19th. I wouldn't have been surprised to see nothing in here because I got it. I was here pretty late, almost till dark last night. So that, uh, that's good. One more for the collection. So, all right, I got a few more snares to check and I want to maybe set another one. I reset this somewhere along here. I had this trail blocked down pretty hard. So, all right, I'm going to get this taken care of. You guys just up the trail from that other coyote there. And we got a, another one here. Another good size one. Oh, he has some, that's a fat coyote. This should probably be a male. Yeah, by the pee on his belly. His, will be, but yeah. Nice looking, good shape. I'm glad I came or else the ravens have been having a heyday, so. It's gonna be a tough one to deal with. They massacred me in here. Whoops. They uh, massacred me in here last year on these coyotes. They picked the hell out of them all. So, alrighty. Sun's coming up. I gotta get back uh, down there and have some coffee and. Then get it, these guys, get them skinned out. So. All right, there's the other one there, and we're going that way. There you go. That's better, I was thinking maybe I might have one today, but so two is twice as good. So, this is drag out of the bush here, tired me out. All right, and I get these guys loaded up and head her for home. Hey guys, back in here on this new bait here. First snare into the bush. We got some activity here. I don't know what the heck it is. It doesn't look that great. Looks very short in the shoulder, so I'll yank it out of there. But it looks like it. It went down fast, a small dog. It's not that bad, I guess, but... Not, not much of a neck on it. Yeah, uh, male. Uh, yeah, it's just a small pop, but it's just not, not a great looking coyote, so... See, it's a... Uh, 20th of December, minus 25. No wind though, so it doesn't feel that bad. So I will 
we set this one. There's another spot just straight down there. And uh, I'll come and grab this guy after the fact. So I got lots more snares to go through yet. So, all right. I had to turn this off with my mats. It's not working. Yeah, guys, I was just feeling sorry for myself that I was only going to come home with one coyote today. My last bait had one coyote track going through it. Ugh. But we got one here. And surprisingly, the ravens didn't find it. Because this one will be pretty frozen. I'm just going to draw some stuff here. And I'll uh, dust them all two more snares left in there to check, so oh, a brownish colored one, but very brown, dark. So not a high dollar dog, but hey, it's a coyote. So yeah, I caught one just there before, so this is a reset, so uh, I will Oh, that's the trail I got to use right there by the looks of things, coming from out across the road. So, yeah, it's a, seems like it's warmed up a bit. It's not really feeling that cold at all. So I haven't had to put my hood up or nothing yet today. So, okay, I'm going to get this dokey here straightened out. But, yeah, things have been pretty slow. Well, guys, there's that brown one. Uh, my last snare was just over there. And there's my very next snare. I got another dog in there. So. so I'm gonna take a peek. Another one that was out light fast. There's a better colored coyote. Yeah. It's a young one. So obviously they came in here. I got one more snare, I think, over there, and that's probably it. But so yeah, another it's been caught for a couple days. But I'm glad the ravens didn't find them. I'm not terrible far from my bait. I'm sorry I'm wandering off the camera here, but so yeah, hopefully I got another one over here. That's good. I said I was starting to wonder what the heck was going on, where all my coyotes got to. They should be hitting these baits. They sure were before, but anyhow, I'm gonna get this guy out and reset on. I don't even think what trail he's on here now. Anyhow, I'll get this uh, figured out and uh, reset.